Skyrocketing food prices have become a global problem, particularly in Asia, where we have seen recently food riots in countries such as Bangladesh. We are joined today to talk about this issue by the Central Bank Governor of Sri Lanka, Ajit Nibat Cabral. Mr. Cabral, thank you for being today with us. Thank you. Is the food crisis a bigger problem than the credit crunch? I think uh, the extent of the credit crisis is still unknown. But at the same time, the food prices uh, skyrocketing is something that all the countries in the world today are grappling with. So in a sense, uh, although I may not like to prioritize it and say which is higher, bigger or uh, more uh, important, uh, both are important, no doubt. But food is something that we all cannot live without. And I would think uh, that sufficient attention has to be paid to the food crisis uh, as well. What is the macroeconomic impact of the current food prices increase? You see, the FAO has estimated that the food prices have increased by about 54% during the last one year. And we see that tendency taking place even now. So countries will have to deal with the escalating food prices and the resultant inflation that that causes, because without dealing with that, you will find that the rest of the macroeconomic fundamentals can get terribly out of balance. And that's something that uh, all economic planners will be definitely uh, working on uh, over the next few months and years. What about the social consequences? Absolutely. The social consequences can be very adverse. And that is one of the reasons that uh, countries are beginning to address it in a, on an urgent basis. And in fact, uh, the measures that have been taken to deal with the food crisis, as well as the responses, have been almost uh, instantaneous. Many countries have already started taking very dramatic steps to deal with it. And I think uh, the extent of the responses have been good enough to deal with the situation. And that shows that the challenge has been taken seriously by all economic planners. And it's uh, quite possible that the impact could reduce as time goes on. Because many measures that are being taken uh, now, as well as that have been planned for the next few months, will definitely have an impact on the uh, overall problem. Mr. Cabral, not every country in Asia is taking the same measure. While some are banning exports or trying to subsidize uh, to the population or even controlling local prices, in Sri Lanka you are allowing the price to pass through. And in a way that probably is getting more money to the farmers. Why this policy? Actually, this is a policy that we have been uh, uh, following for the past two or three years. Uh, and in fact, it has had a good impact. Although it has uh, escalated our inflation figures, we have found that the poverty levels have dropped tremendously as a result because there has been a shift of incomes. The rural areas uh, have been uh, now much better served. The farmers have uh, got richer. And that has had a very favorable impact overall. So poverty levels dropping by about one third within a very short period has been a very favorable impact. And uh, we now believe that if we can continue with the same process, we would be able to withstand the crisis as has been uh, happening all over the world. And definitely it will have a favorable impact as time goes on. And you see a higher production from the farmers because they benefit from the higher prices? Yes. You see, you got to have the policy and stay there. Uh, the tendency is that as soon as there is a price rise, uh, governments tend to panic and then they import and then kill the entire uh, process that has been put in motion. So you got to have the courage to stay with a certain policy and allow the policy to have the re required effect. And we see that happening in Sri Lanka and I'm sure that if that policy can be maintained, the farmers will get stronger. They will find that they, it's still worthwhile for them to uh, produce. And that is the best incentive to deal with the uh, problem that is now uh, facing the entire world. Mr. Cabral, thank you very much. Thank you.